Kevin Healy from Washington, D.C. He is a professor at Georgetown University's Center for Latin American Studies. Kevin, thanks so much for coming in on the show. Now, there is a rise in this type of attacks. So what needs to be done by the authorities to prevent the killings like this one? Well, they've got to intervene and they have to show where their real priorities are and that they really care about the Amazon, care about uh, this illegal activity and so forth, and also to stop the legal activity they're doing for all kinds of deforestation policies that are in play here. Some of the, some of the uh, fastest uh, effective deforestation policies uh, going on in, in the Amazon right now. It's a very scary situation because we see these governments pursuing these short-term profits at the expense of the Amazon, expense of the people who live there, expense of the ecosystems, just to get these gigantic profits from soybeans and cattle ranching and other uh, means uh, of extraction in, in this type of environment. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, uh, many would say that Jair Bolsonaro's hateful speeches contributed to the increase of these kind of violence attacks in indigenous territories. Would you agree with that? Yes, I certainly agree with that. And his whole coalition behind him that he's playing to, that he's play, trying to support and give them all the prior privileges and benefits from his regime are all people who have a stake in Amazon deforestation, who have all kinds of economic enterprises have all kinds of uh, uh, rights to, to lands and pushing indigenous off their lands to get more lands. And it's, it's very much driven by greed and power and mm -hmm. the concentration of wealth and a very short-sighted policy in terms of long-term environmental effects, even the short-term environmental effects. So mm -hmm. I'd say he's doing the wrong things and he's uh, really setting Brazil's uh, progressive policies been put in place a few years ago back. Um, it's a real reversal of where Brazil wanted to go with the earlier, uh, re more recent governments that were trying to do things to slow down the rate of deforestation in the Amazon. He is trying to accelerate it, just the opposite. And so um, there have got to be coalitions worldwide to put pressure on this government to, to stop these kinds of policies that are very drastic. Mm -hmm. And in your opinion, what kind of environmental laws needs to be put in place uh, in the Amazon? Well, that's a big question. I mean, there are kinds of you have protected areas. You have indigenous rights and territories that need to be protected. They need to be expanded. The indigenous are there for all of us, for all of humankind, saving those rainforests because of their low impact technologies to maintain their, our, their, their lifestyles and their, their development strategies at the micro level and so forth. And we need to embrace the legislation that's protected uh, indigenous peoples that's being rolled back. We need to support it. We need to uh, strengthen it. We need to do the same things with protected areas, and we need to get them to uh, to listen to the environmental community in their own country, listen to the indigenous peoples, listen to the middle class that are concerned about the future of Brazil. And and the government's not doing any of that. It's not really listening. It's got its views really set, and it's going to go full blast ahead to do these very destructive policies. So. My, we need worldwide coalitions to put pressure on them uh, to help the Brazilians who are mobilizing against these terrible, uh, horrendous crimes against the environment. Okay, thanks so much for your insight for us. Kevin Healy is a professor at Georgetown University. Thanks so much for that, Kevin.